bypassing the thinking mind because it's the thinking mind that has created this world and you are a separated individual entity in it and you're really frightened because you're so helpless naturally the world is too big and too hostile and you're frightened from it because you're helpless in it as much as you think you can do something there's nothing you can do about it it's too big too powerful too frightening so you always live in fear and anxiety and you're always in this place of supporting and protecting yourself against this monster this giant because it's created by the world of the mind the creative mind has created this thing but as you begin to recognize and realize that there is no separation that means you need to become quiet you go beyond the mind it's a journey from the head to the heart and you're becoming quiet you're becoming centered in that you kind of become passive and you become non-reactive you're not reacting to the world you're not reacting to your partner you're not reacting to your children you're not reacting to that policeman that pulled you over and wants to give you a ticket you're just kind of sinking in here you're quiet you're centered I'm not talking about the type of passive I'm not talking about being passive in a way that if somebody is trying to force themselves on you rape you or uh, violate you and you're not sitting there you're sitting there and you let them do it I'm not talking about that girls you did it when you were 13 14 15 when you didn't know anything better and that has happened to you unfortunately I'm not talking about that passive passivity don't take me wrong those are moments that you need to react and kick kick the butt of that person or punch them in their face I'm talking about in general you become quiet you go inwards you're bringing your attention to which is that which is here and you're going beyond the the world of the mind into the silence so as you go beyond the world of the mind everything becomes more quiet and more quiet and you're centering yourself you have bypassed the mind and you have entered into the world of the heart and as you have gone through this transformation and come to the heart the presence the big kahuna her majesty the supreme being begins to reveal itself to you it shows itself to you God begin to show her presence to you and take over your life and you begin to feel this force field of love of presence this power begin to take over and you feel like you're being showered by love and wisdom and a new way of knowing will take over see I can't really explain these things to you if you're too much in your head you don't understand what I'm talking about so it's not really explainable I can only refer to it your analytical mind doesn't understand it but you have to give it a try because you don't really have a choice the world you're in is going downhill so you need to pop out of it press the eject button if you can 
so you don't go down the hill with that one. So the more you go beyond your mind, the more you sink into your heart, the more you come into the presence here. The more you begin to feel, because it reveals itself to you, and you're surrendering to what is. You're not trying to manipulate things. You're not trying to make things happen to go your way, because you don't care. You're starting to realize that you're 100% taken care of. All is very well. Everything that you need will come to you. That you need, don't need to figure everything out. You don't need to be on top of everything all the time. You relax into your natural state of being. Hanging out here with this one. The presence begin to reveal itself stronger and stronger. And you dive into and you're becoming one with it. And then you realize that this one is operating through you. This is the one who does the healing. This is the one who speaks through me. This is the one who paints, who writes, who drives. This is the one who makes the decisions. How many times, those of you who've been with me in my healing training programs, I never ever said that I can heal anybody. And we have seen miracles happen. Many, many different miracles happen. People with some serious stuff got healed. It was always the language is, I'm not the one who's doing it. I'm not the one who heals anybody. It's that which heals. Why? Because in this recognition, in this place of letting go of an individual illusory entity is the one, the self, Her Majesty, begin to operate. And that's the one who does the healing. So you begin to see it's taking care, taking over, it's doing the work perfectly flawlessly is operating to you. And this idea of you being separated starts to disappear. And you start to feel the presence everywhere. And yes, you're seeing other people. You're seeing other stuff hostile people, dangerous people, things starts to appear and disappear. And yeah, if danger is coming, you duck, you get out of the way. 